Hey, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahushai, by Shem Kadash, who is the Most High, and the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Uh, blessings to you brothers out there enduring truth and sincerity, teaching truth and sincerity. Sincere Habatham and the waters of Quanim, um, double honest our apostles slash elders such as GMS. And, um, you know, in this lesson, lesson, I wanted to go over, um, you know, wisdom, you know, and not only just um, obtaining it, but the importance and the trials of wisdom, because uh, wisdom is not just something, um, you know, you can willy nilly obtain, you know, knowledge, knowledge and wisdom is two different things, you know, as the scripture saying, Proverbs chapter four, verse seven says, uh, get wisdom with all I uh, get, uh, get wisdom with all I getting and then you get understanding, you know what I'm saying? And uh, knowledge, knowledge is basically information that's given to you. You know, um, the way I the way I see it, you know, um, I prefer to get you know uh, the definition. But you know, looking at it on a blank slate, is knowledge is basically general information. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, if you're watching basketball and a guy shoots a, a shot beyond the arc, you know, uh, you can say that's a three pointer. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, if it's if he runs to the basketball goal and he, he, he lets the ball roll off his fingers, you know, you know that's a layup, right? You know that's a layup. That's knowledge. You know, uh um but then you got wisdom, you know what I'm saying? Wisdom is basically knowing how to apply these things. You know, you know how to do three point shots, you know how to do layups, so you got the wisdom. And then understanding is knowing why you're doing things like that, you know, uh, uh, to why you're shooting threes and why you're going to do the layup instead of dunking the ball. You're trying to save your wrist and, you know what I'm saying, save from injuries and whatnot. That's that's uh, the progression of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, you know. Um, and with that being said, um, I say that to say that, you know, um, you can't just go into this truth and hoard knowledge and expect that to to equate to uh, wisdom um, and or um, understanding of the scriptures, you know, uh, which is why you got people like uh, Zabak or other people that just read and they you know, um, they don't, you know, uh, it says ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you, this thing is spiritual. You have to be in, into this as as like a, a relationship. And we're gonna get into the scriptures to prove it. So, okay. So we're gonna start off with uh, wisdom of Solomon. Oh, I hope I can find a verse. Is uh, wisdom of Solomon chapter four? I'm still liking that chapter four, but it'll be chapter six. Uh. Okay, um, I'll start at 12. Um, I'll start at 10. It says, For they that keep holiness holy shall be judged holy, and they that have learned such things shall find what to answer. It says in verse uh, 11, it says, Wherefore set your affection upon my words, desire them, and ye shall be instructed. So automatically it's telling you how to read. It's telling you to set your affection upon the word. It tells you to, uh, um, it says, um, Salakia, I, I want to get it right. It says desire, you know what I'm saying? So if you, I want to go to the word affection and, et and etymology real quick. It tells you right out the gate to set your affection upon the word, right? That that word affection is desire, inclination, wish, and emotion of the mind, passion, lust, as opposed to reason, as a as opposed to reason, right? Uh, emotional inclination, disposition, love, attraction, enthusiasm. Uh, uh, um, a relation 
disposition, a temporary state, a frame constitution, noun uh, of state from past participle, uh, adversary, to do something, to act on. You know what I'm saying? So if you have an affection toward uh, the truth, you you ha you you're captivated with the word of the Most High beyond reasoning. You know what I'm saying? Of course, the truth is the truth. That's that's the point to be being drawn into the Bible. But you're 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 madly in love with the word, man. You know what I'm saying? Like like a woman's madly in love with a man that somebody can say something about him and to that person that 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 individual can't do no wrong. Just like your child, uh, same thing with your child. You could a person say, "Oh, your child, this and that and that." And, and you, you're blindly you're blinded to what you hear because you're 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 uh, uh, madly in love with your child as a as a um um offspring of you, you know, because Esau and, and Scarfers are trying to take it in a different way, you know. So uh, and I wanted to get the word desire. Now the word desire says to wish to long or long for, express a wish to obtain, uh, wish desire long. Latin, long for, wish for, demand, expect, the, the original sense perhaps being await with the stars will bring, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and they're the stars of Israel, man, you know, from the phrase desire, from the stars, you know, heavenly body, star collection, you know, uh, uh, uh. so we have a desire, we, we long for, we hope. We 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 uh, uh, chomp at the bit. We drool at the mouth for the increasing of wisdom to be getting better and wiser. You never get complacent with where you're at. Basically, you long for this wisdom. You're attentive to it. You give uh, passion. You give a sincere effort. You don't just read a lesson, memorize it, and then regurgitate it. You really are captivated with uh, the stories. And, and the the, the uh, recounts of the uh, things that happen within the scriptures and within the, our past, you really uh, uh, moved and wooed by these uh, continuous situations. It's just not information that you read to transfer from one flash drive, which is yourself, to another person. You know, uh, 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 basically willy nilly wing, uh, swinging your sword. You know what I'm saying? This this. This information we read when you when you hear about how they treated Yahweh Shai and they said we have no king but Caesar and, and you should be enraged, man. You know what I'm saying? Like how, how niggas get into movies and go get him. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to be captivated with the scriptures in the same way, man. You know when David slew Goliath. You know a uh, uh, a part simple as you know I'm a trust in the Lord and how the Lord raised him up. The these are things that's supposed to move you when the Lord said. Name whoever trusts in me and who, uh, and who and was confounded. And, and these things are supposed to move you, not just information grabbing. So getting back to the scriptures where it says in verse 11 says, Wherefore, uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 6 verse 11 says, Wherefore set your affection upon my words and desire them. You know what I'm saying? And ye shall be instructed. Uh, wisdom is glorious and never fadeth away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of um, such as seek her. You know, wisdom, not knowledge, wisdom, the 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 uh, uh, knowing how to apply, you know, says she prevented them that desire her in making herself first known unto them. Whoso seek seeketh her early shall have no great travail. So basically you come into it, you don't wait, you don't you don't sit there and wait and no wisdom is available to you and then choose to go and rise up early to play, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't rise up early to play, you get your business done, you you seek wisdom, you're supposed to be fond of it. It's not a, it shouldn't be a a, a a um a a chore to get wise in the scriptures. It should be an enthusiastic ambition of yours. That is a, a, a beautiful action to get wise in the word. When you get a revelation, you're like, man, you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to get lifted. Your spirit is supposed to get live off of uh, uh, continuing and furthering your knowledge and your wisdom in this truth. All right? Uh, it says, uh, 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 <clears throat> it says, Whoso, verse 14 says, Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail. For he shall find her sitting at his doors. To think 
therefore upon her is a uh, perfection of wisdom and whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care for she goeth about seeking such as are worthy of her showeth herself favorably unto them in the ways and uh, in the ways and meeteth them in every thought you know what i'm saying uh for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline you know and the care of discipline is love it says for the very true beginning of her is the desire of discipline discipline is within what the scriptures you know the very true beginning is what it tells you the, the patience experience experience hope through 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 the trials and walking through these straight gates it, it increases our experience with the wisdom of the most high when it says the the, the scripture says our faces shall be hard against their faces through through wisdom basically applying teaching jake we realize that man you know and it becomes it becomes like okay you know and, and you're attentively looking into the scripture you're attentively believing in them you're not just doing it from like i said transfer transferring one information from yourself to another person without any passion or spiritual uh, uh attachment connected to the situation or the transaction you know which is basically prophesying now prophesying is just transaction from one one uh, uh, hand to another, man. All right. Okay. It says for uh, the very beginning of her is the desire of discipline, and uh, and the care of discipline is love. Now I want to look at that word uh, 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 um, wisdom real quick, just to get what I'm gonna go to etymology. I looked it up a while ago, uh, and it it, it, it kind of lines up with knowledge, but you know I, I believe that's why I really you know didn't. Get into it. It says wisdom, a knowledge, learning. It says experience, right? Uh, uh, wise is an adjective. Dumb. Um, it says a common graphic compound um, or Norse wisdom. It says judicial sentence serving as a uh, president. Uh, see here. It says prudent, self-control, call because they are usually call because they usually appear ages 17 to 25 when a person reaches adulthood so let's look up that word wise and see what we get it says uh learned not learning but learned uh sagacious cunning sane prudent discreet experience having the power of discerning and judging rightly okay knowing how to take that knowledge and make it applicable you know what i'm saying uh, um, minor slang mean aware, cunning, you know, uh, 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 I like that word aware within that, within that situation. So I want, I want to look up one more word, sag, sag, uh, sagacious, you know, cause uh, I never, I never came across that word before. So I'm just going to look it up for knowledge sake on my own half. Uh, uh, oh, hey, it says of quick perception. Uh, C sac sagacity. It says uh, uh, keenness of perception, quality of being acute, uh, uh, of quick perception, acute related to sag sagas. Um, perceive keenly, you know, uh, to track down, trace, seek, you know, and that goes back to the word being circumspect. And uh, another term um, I was told uh, by one of my uh, old coach is a jujitsu coach and he, he sat me down and he said you know uh the difference between a black belt and you could say a blue belt you know what i'm saying a blue belt pretty much knows the bulk of the submissions and what to do and he said the difference between a black belt and a blue belt is reaction you know what i'm saying it's it, it's keen perception it's quick being able to to move quick but the only way that you're able to move quick in certain situations is to have to been a been there, you know what I'm saying, and, and and rehearsing it over and over and over and over and over. So when you come across it, then you're gonna through your wisdom, you're able to react a whole lot quicker than uh, uh than the average bear, for lack of better words. Like the apostles, if someone comes up to the apostles and says something, uh, which they had a point. Um, when the apostle came out here and we was dealing with a scoffer and the, 
the apostle was like four or five steps ahead of us on handling the situation. You know what I'm saying? And that comes through wisdom. You know, hey man, ask him this question. Hey, you know, at the point, stop dealing with, oh, he ain't, oh, he ain't this, you know what I'm saying? He ain't that, or oh, stop entertaining, let's get back to this, you know, and they, they, they're, they they're on that level through wisdom, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, basically through the experience and, and seeing it, and, and it makes them more quick with their, with their knowledge, okay? And, and, and applying their knowledge, you know? So, um, yeah, that's a, that's a, that was a pretty dope, uh, uh, uh breakdown and, 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 uh, word reference, you know? So uh, it says in 18, it says, And love is the keeping of her laws, and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption. You know what I'm saying? Now, we can't keep the law whole, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but we strive for perfection. We keep as many laws as we possibly can in, the, in uh, what America would allow us without incarcerating us or, or uh, putting us to death. You know, uh, so uh, basically... Let's see here. It says, um, it says, and, and love is the keeping of her laws. If you love the Lord, you keep his commandments and the giving heed unto her laws is the assurance of incorruption, you know, because the spirit of wolf against the flesh, how do you fight the flesh through the scriptures? You know what I'm saying? And corruption make it us near unto them, uh, and incorruption make us near unto the most high. So the longs, the more we fulfill the word of the Most High, the more we're we're fleeing from incorruption, you know. And like I said, the spirit war against the flesh, we're constantly battling things that we want to do in the world, and then um, things we want to do in the spirit. If you if you fulfill the spirit, you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh, you know. And basically, give attention and 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 apply what you read sincerely. Don't just apply because you know. The apostles said it, or your camp leader said it, or you know that's what you know that's what everybody said. Demons, right? You're supposed to apply it because this is the word of the Most High telling you what to do as an individual. When the scriptures say work out your own salvation, this is what it means. It's when you read it, you apply it for yourself. You don't apply it as oh, it's for the camp. It translates into that, but everything starts with you. You know what I'm saying? When you work out your own salvation, that, that means you, you be a brother. You know what I'm saying? You, you give alms. You watch out for brothers. You know, you watch out for the flock. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a part of you being a, a righteous and upstanding man. You know what I'm saying? And because, and, and, uh, um, let's see here. Um, verse 20 says, Therefore the desire of wisdom bringeth to a kingdom. If your delight be in the, in the thrones and sep um, sceptres, uh, o ye kings of the people, honor wisdom that ye may reign forevermore. As for wisdom, what she is and how she came up, I will tell you, and will not hide mysteries from you, but will seek her out from the beginning of her nativity and bring the knowledge of her light, uh, of her into light, and will not pass over the truth. Neither will I go with consuming in envy, for such a man have no fellowship with wisdom. You know, it's not about swinging your sword and trying to hurt somebody. But if you got to take somebody out, you got to take somebody out with the sword, right? It says, but the multitude of the wise is with the welfare of the world, right? So the wisdom, it starts with us, but the multitude of the wise is, is the welfare of the world. It's like not with the welfare of the world, but is the welfare of the world. And a wise king is the upholding of the people. Receive therefore instruction through my words, and it shall do you good. So, and the a wise king is the upholding of the people. You know, our, our right now, our, our elders or, or Apostle Tahar is considered the wise king. Is is the upholding of the people? The people right now is the elect. You know, uh, uh, you know a man by his fruit. And and, and GMS as a uh, a flock it is is knowledgeable, and it's all based off. Uh, Apostle Tahar and all the predecessors before him, and, and, and the uh, the spirit that the Most High put on them, it reflects on us also. All right, so I want to get into uh, we're going to Ecclesiasticus. Uh, let's see here, we're going to chapter six.
uh, in verse 18, it says, My son, gather instruction from thy youth up, so, thou, so shalt thou find wisdom to thine old age. So this is how you obtain wisdom. You know, um, wisdom always is, it, it, it sometimes is given to you without you having to uh, go through experiences. Because what it says, experience is the best teacher, right? But sometimes your parents say, hey, don't do this. Don't do that. And then when you get older, you'll be like, damn, you go through it on your own by not listening. And, and you'll be like, damn, I wish I would have listened when I was younger. Your, your parents was trying to give you wisdom, not only just knowledge, but wisdom showing you how to apply this situation in that situation, in this scenario. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it says, my son, gather instruction from thy youth up. So shalt thou find wisdom to thine old age. Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth. You know, basically, you come into wisdom as one that's ready to work. Be ready to get your hands dirty. Like, you know, you ever trained somebody or been training? And, and and you you the person that's training you is basically doing everything and you standing there with your hands in your pocket just watching them. You know, you're not supposed to be that in person. You're supposed to come in there ready. You know, you, they show you one time, it's like, well, let me, nah, I, I want to do it now. You know what I'm saying? And getting over the fear of fucking up or whatever is holding you back. You're supposed to be ready and, 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 and uh, being an able body toward uh, 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 gaining your wisdom, okay? It says, um, verse 19, it says, Come unto her as one that ploweth and soweth, and wait for her good fruits. For thou shalt not toil much in laboring about her, but thou shalt eat of her fruits right soon. So you don't even have to put in that much work. All you got to do is apply it, and right after that, you're going to be eating of, eating of the fruits. But you can't just sit there and expect, you know, somebody to, to uh, uh, give you wisdom, or you can't expect the reputation of somebody's wisdom to be stamped on you also. You know what I'm saying? You can't sit there and say, I cast that demon out in the name of you, how it shot like Paul said. You know, you can't be that guy. Okay? It says, uh, she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. He that is without understanding will not remain with her. So, that's why I was saying understanding, knowing why. You know, a lot of Jake in this world don't know why they're living. So, they're, they are very uninterested in the truth. They don't understand life after death. They don't understand reincarnation. They don't understand the second coming of Yahweh Shai. They don't understand it's a bigger, it's bigger than fiat notes and, 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 and new shoes and, and cars and shit. They don't think past that. So not only is it unpleasant, but it doesn't remain with them. It, it you know They're taken by the world. It don't make no sense for them to stop eating pork when it's so, to them, it's so delicious, right? Says that she is very unpleasant to the unlearned. Somebody don't know what the hell's going on and don't care. They they they're not gonna obtain to it. They're gonna be like, oh here this nigga go, man, talking this church stuff or talking this Bible stuff and all that. Right? Verse 21 it says, She will lie upon him as a mighty stone of trial, and he will cast her from, from him ere it, it be long. So basically it's a burden, the truth to the unlearned or 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 uh, the truth to the unlearned and, and with uh, uh, he that is without understanding, the truth becomes a burden unto them. You know what I'm saying? And they and basically they're cast aside every be long. Basically, that's why niggas fall out because they weren't in it from the beginning. You know, it was a burden unto them. And eventually they just say, you know what? You know, I'm getting tired of this. I'm going to smoke my weed and be a rapper, man. You know? So they cast, it, they cast the truth aside and they started start coming up with new doctrines or trying to confound the, the doctrine that was already established by Yahweh by Shimei was shot, right? It says, uh, um, it says, verse 22, for wisdom is according to her name and she is not manifest unto many. Give ear, my son, receive my advice and refuse not my counsels. Put thy fetters into, uh, put thy feet into her fetters and thy neck into her chain. What does that mean? You, you got to be locked up in this truth, man. Whatever it say, that's what it is. And you got to stay within that box. People always want you to think outside the box. No, you think within it. You're stuck in this truth, man. That's that's the box that you're in. We thought outside the box and, and found a better box and, and locked ourselves in that box, which is your how about shimmy out a shot. You know what I'm saying? That box is big enough to handle everything we need. Okay, so there's no more need to think outside the box when you got your how about your how a shot by um, by shimmy Okay. 
it says, uh, verse 25, it says, Bow down thy shoulder and bear her, and be not grieved with her bonds. You know, the way we say discipline. You know, you're supposed to be there attentively and have a passion and have a desire, an uh, affectionate desire toward the, toward the wisdom or the truth. Okay? It says, Come unto her with thy whole heart and keep her ways with all thy power. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's basically just reiterating what's been said. What I've been saying, what the apostles have been saying, and other brothers have been saying, okay? It says, search and seek, and she shall be made known unto thee. And when thou hast got hold of her, let her not go. You know, uh, 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 appreciate where you come from. Appreciate what you obtain. Don't get to a level and be like, oh, I'm thinking you the man. and Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm this and this and that. And you don't know this and that. You know, don't don't forget where you come from, okay? Uh, um. For says, for at the last thou shalt find her, find her rest, and that shall be uh, turned to to thy joy. Then shall her fetters be a strong defense for thee, and her chains a robe of glory. So this this wisdom is going to put you through a uh, uh, bonds, and and now these shackles are, are, are has it's like ankle weights. It made you strong, you know the fetters. It, it, it's like it made you a robe of glory because it's it, to see a person. Everybody loves that story from somebody coming from nothing and and becoming something, you know. And that's how it is in the truth. You're nothing and you work through that and you struggle and and you deny your life and you afflict yourself and it and it's like you're stuck within this 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 uh, box of living and then you grow and become this uh, uh, awesome individual in the spirit and people say, God damn, this person started from here and they end up right here. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Lord raising us up. It's, it's a robe of glory to be a, a nothing in the world and just pop up in the truth. You know? It's a glorious thing. You know what I'm saying? Can't, can't do nothing but give all praise to y'all about Shem Yashai. Call all y'all about Shem Yashai, about Shem Yashai, about Shem You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 and why Brak ya? You know? So uh, I'm going to go into this last little chapter and we'll, we'll wrap it up. All right. Uh, going to Ecclesiastes chapter four, verse eleven, it says, "Wisdom exalt her children, and lay of hold of them that seek that seek her. He that loveth loveth life. He that loveth her loveth life. And they that seek to her early shall be filled with joy. All right. Um, he that holdeth her fast shall inherit glory. And whosoever she entereth, the Lord will bless. Right." They that serve her shall minister to the Holy One. You know what I'm saying? They that serve wisdom shall shall minister, which is basically serve. We're going to be served. You become a prophet. You become a man of the Lord. Become one that biddeth them to the marriage. And them that love her, um, them that love her, the Lord doth love. Whoso giveth ear unto her shall judge the nations, and he that attendeth unto her shall dwell securely. So the Lord would not only take care of you, but you should be, will begin to judge the nations. You will begin to prophesy on the highways and byways. It says, if a man commit himself unto her, he shall inherit her, and his generation shall hold her in, his, in, his, in possession. For at first she will walk, walk with him by crooked ways and bring fear and dread upon him. Because you don't know. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you're going through so much of this that it's frustrating or you know what I'm saying whatever whatever the case may be, but it's it's taking you to a place of being uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying, and that's what the wisdom does when you first get into it. When you first start doing anything scripture related, it becomes hard. You're excited, but it's 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 uh, uh it's burdensome because you don't know how to manage it properly, right? It says and bring fear and dread upon him and torment him with her discipline. Until she may trust his soul and try him by her laws. You know what I'm saying? So the ways of the Lord is basically, it, it, it's knocking, it's flaking off that that flesh. You know what I'm saying? In, in, a, in a righteous manner, it's, it's knocking the world off you, bone by um, piece by piece. And, it, and it's uh, affecting you, you know, and it hurts basically. 
um, not not in a carnal manner, but in a spiritual manner. It's like you know you got to give up the this lifestyle of this. You got to give up smoking. You got to give up pork. You got to uh, uh, you know um, deny you know two thirds. You know uh, you know what I'm saying you got to stop fucking with Esau like that and then you know for some people that type of shit hurt. You know what I'm saying uh, uh, like smoking that smoking demon that hurt a lot of Jake man. But we gave it up. We, you know, we afflicted ourselves for righteousness sake, man. Okay, it says, then will she turn straight, uh, 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 then will she turn straight way unto him and comfort him and show him her secrets. But if he, if he go wrong, she will forsake him and give him over to his own ruin. So once you obtain it, don't mean you got it. it, it if you want to, if you, if you start fucking up. Uh, fucking up it's gonna take you know now you now you're a rapper rapping with a half a a, a pint of fucking uh e and j talking about you know that i gave up my cash my cash and then you end up like that or dino or or sicario you know what i'm saying and the list goes on man okay um it says but if he go wrong but if he go wrong she will forsake him um so like it, verse 20 says observe the opportunity and beware of evil, and be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. You know, that's very important to obtaining and achieving in wisdom, is be not ashamed, be not ashamed when it concerneth thy soul. You know, everybody want to, you know, most brothers, or you get on that carnal pride level where you want to be on a high horse and somebody knocks you off your high, so, high horse, and, and you, you have no shame, man. You have no shame, you have no respect. No acknowledgement of why a person's telling you or rebuking you, you know what I'm saying? And it concerns your soul. A person could be trying to put you on game to how to get salvation and because, you know, oh, you wicked or you're doing this wrong, you're doing that wrong. Uh, what about you? You know what I'm saying? Like, look, you fucking up. Are, are you not? You know, are you not fucking up? You know it, I know it. Why are you trying to to, to, to uh, uh, digress and, and, and save face? Because you feel like your feelings was hurt, okay? Uh, uh, it says, verse 21 says, For there is a shame that bringeth sin, and there is a shame which is glory and grace. Uh, accept no persons against thy soul, and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. And refrain not to speak when there is occasion to do good, and, and hide not thy wisdom in her beauty. Okay? Um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much it to that, you know, what I wanted to get, man. And it's really based off of, you know, obtaining wisdom and understanding the importance of wisdom, man, and, and how to get it. it. It takes a humble spirit. It takes a, a spirit. It takes a, a, a disciplined spirit. It takes a dedicated spirit to obtain wisdom, to read something over and over and over and over and over, going to the history going to the time frame, going to the language of it, going to, you know, that, that that takes discipline, man. And that's what requires to obtain wisdom, man. It takes a sincere heart also. You can't read it maliciously. Like, I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them. I'm going to show them where the Bible wrong at. And if you're reading like that, you're never going to get into it, man. You know, so with that being said, I want to say, call hello to you. How about Shimmy out shy? If I shimmy call Kodash, double honest side apostle slash elders, which are, do, which are of GMS, blessed salutations. To you brothers out there teaching and doing truth sincerity. A sincere, I have a thumb. It's a quiet. A shallow one.